Hey everybody, Sean and Allison here from Spoken Garden. Today it's Plant Chat Friday. Ooh. Yay! <laughs> and we're talking about English daisies, Bellus perennis. Oh, they're so cute. And it's like a perfect early spring plant. In fact, really they're is. probably out at all your garden centers right now. Yeah. Yeah, that's we where have, we got ours. Yeah, and they were forced, obviously. They're blooming a little earlier than they normally Not would. spring yet. I know, but it feels like <laughs> it, and it's so close. Um, we have a beautiful container arrangement to show you that includes the English um, daisy that we're going to highlight. And we do have some growing in our landscape that haven't bloomed yet. Yeah, yeah we got them in a the seed mix a couple years ago, and they keep coming back every year. So oh, we feel cute. really lucky. So guys, here we are. Here's our container with our Bellus perennis in it, our English daisy and here you go there's the daisy right there look at that it's so yep. cute it's a true daisy it's in the aster aca family the daisy family and this is a typical uh, english daisy it has these small little has these small flowers these smaller leaves it grows from a crown it grows out and it mats it has a matting formation or form and it just spreads so guys this particular english daisy right here this is a bellus tazo trademark name white and so you can see it's got white flowers. Now, um, English daisies usually come in either white or pink, but now they have newer varieties out there, newer cultivars that are actually uh, either more red or a rose color too. So, I mean, there's some exciting things happening with, uh, with English daisies. Now, this particular English daisy, it's only gonna get probably about six to 12 inches high, but it's gonna get also about six to eight inches wide. And it's just gonna form that mat, like I said, and it's, it looks beautiful. It usually blooms from early spring to early summer. And once those summer, that summer heat starts coming on, it stops flowering. It's more of a cool season type of crop. So it's really cool during the early spring. So I'm gonna to talk to you guys about uses for English daisies. Obviously we have ours in a container. Um, like we mentioned, we do have some out in the landscape. So there are a lot of different uses. Um, Often you'll see these sold at garden centers as annuals because they are kind of mass marketed during the spring or early spring or actually late winter in this case. But they are actually a perennial in zones four through eight. So that's a pretty big range. Um, obviously some of the cooler climates, right? So um, uses, let's get back to that. Um, and companion plants, because you can see we kind of packed them in here with the, all these other beautiful plants. Some of you might have seen that video where we planted um, three new containers. So as you can see in this container that we created, we paired these bright yellow daffs with the white um, English daisy with the yellow center. Oh yeah, look at that. Isn't that cool? It That's just kind of pops. Yeah, look at that. So daffodils obviously would make a great companion plant. Also in this container, we have cyclamen, these bright, beautiful cyclamen, another great companion plant for English daisies. And look at the height difference and the textures and the different um, foliage. That's just kind of a cool mix of plants together. Mm -hmm. So other great companion plants for English daisies could be any of your early spring blooming plants, um, obviously cyclamen, daffodils, um, also pansies or even dianthus. Those would make great companions. So you could mix the, all of those plants together in different containers. Um, Plus they also have the same growing and care needs, which is the most important thing when you're designing a container. So um, lots of great companion planting ideas. And again, a container, obviously a great use for an English daisy. You could also plant them along a walkway or a border. So you could kind of mass plant them and make this just wave of beautiful color. You know, again, remember that they're lower growing. So pairing them with something of medium or even a taller height would be a cool contrast. So another thing to consider, maybe if you want this kind of um, look, is you could use English daisies as a ground cover and let them kind of spread out since they will self-seed. Um, the problem is in some areas they are considered invasive. They're actually called a lawn daisy because they can take over a lawn area and you know, or you might have to pick them out if you don't want them there. So if you like that look, I actually think that would look kind of cute, but some people might not want that look because they want the nice green lawn. We don't really care about our lawn, so we would rather have flowers that pollinate. So guys, saying all of this stuff about these amazing little plants, they have very basic needs. They need full sun. They will thrive also in part shade. They need regular watering, but don't overwater them because they are susceptible to gray mold fungus. So if that means if they're in like a really wet condition, they can actually get a fungus growing on them and it'll, it'll kill them. Um, and also they need to be in well draining, nutrient rich, compost rich type of soil and they'll thrive, they'll do great. Um, now it's kind of funny, some fun facts about this. This plant is actually 
uh, the plant in the little nursery rhyme or what children used to say way back when, many, many uh, years ago, uh, where they'd say, he loves me, he loves me not, he loves me. This is the plant that they were referring to. And also this plant is uh, the basis for the daisy chain type of game that children used to play also a very long time ago. So isn't that fun? It's pretty cool, right? Now, this plant also has um, some medicinal uses. It's not toxic. There's no known toxic characteristics to this plant. Actually, it was used medicinally to treat arthritis, stomach issues, and even vomiting and diarrhea way back when. So that's all been documented. And this is a pretty cool plant overall, right? So guys, one last thing. This English daisy, this plant is actually native to Western, Central, and Northern Europe. So it's kind of been around and it's actually been naturalized here in the US and in the Americas. Pretty cool. So we've got our container here that we showed you. We're gonna go check out the landscape and see if we can spot any English daisies that might be ready yeah. to bloom soon. Cool. So let's go take let's a look Let's go take over a here. gander, guys. Here we go. Let's go over here. Now we planted um, a daisy, what was called a daisy crazy mix from Eden Brothers. And they still sell that actually on their website. So yeah, watch step here, guys. Ugh. We have our trench. There so, we go. Okay. <laughs> Way back a couple years ago, Sean and I bought all these seed mixes and we just wanted to kind of sprinkle them all over the yard. Yeah. Well, we didn't really have a plan and we're actually gonna probably have to dig some of this up because we're putting in this terrace yeah. in this area. Yep. But this is it. Here we go, guys. It's kind of a carpet of random daisies. Yep, just all these daisies over here. And there's other plants in here too, but it's mainly these daisies and you can get down here, you can see right in here, I think, yep, there we go. So these guys right in here, these are all daisies. These are all English daisies. They're getting ready to do, do their thing. These have been here for a couple years, so um, they're not going to probably flower until a couple more weeks at least. I don't see I don't any see new any. flower I know, I'm looking. yet, but we know they'll do it because they've done it in the past. Okay. Yeah, um, you guys can see on the screen there the cute little pink daisy that we had last year. And I didn't get pictures of the other ones, but um, they were all kind of small like that. Since again, they were started from seed, so that took about a year for them to grow to that size and then they'll self seed in this area. All of the seed mix is just like totally like exploded. It's way bigger than what we planted. Oh, so yeah. it's like triple the it's size. It's like triple the size. Yeah. We have Shasta daisies in this mix as well. Um, mm -hmm. They haven't been getting a lot of sun in the last couple of years, but we just cut back a lot of tree cover. So I think they'll do a lot better this year. Yep, yep. So that's a wrap, you guys. We wanted to show you and introduce you to that cute little daisy, the Bellis perennis, English daisy. Yep, the Tazo white. So we hope you enjoyed that. Make sure to leave any comments or questions down below for us. We love hearing from you. Give us that thumbs up. Let us know we're doing a good job and subscribe to our channel so you make sure to get updates on our latest videos. And we'll be back tomorrow. Tomorrow's exciting because it's our Saturday morning live. So every Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific, join us to talk about plants, to talk about our gardens, to ask questions, come and hang out. Yep, we really like to see you there and we just want to chat it up with you. Yeah, so, so we hope to see you. Come say hi in the chat and have a great day ahead, you guys. Have a great day, everybody. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye.